G'day, this is Ray. Welcome to another video from All About Expat Life in Thailand. This video is all about sex with bar girls. After watching the video, if you like it, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more, subscribe, then click the bell and click all. Every year, numerous aeroplanes touch down at Bangkok's Savanapumi Airport carrying a mix of single men of all age groups and individuals in unsatisfactory relationships or marriages. When questioned by acquaintances at home about their fondness for Thailand and the reason behind their annual holiday visits, the typical response revolves around the exquisite beaches, perpetual warmth and the amiable nature of the Thai people. However, what remains unspoken is the primary motivation driving their trips to Thailand which predominantly centers around Thai women. While some seek purely sexual escapades, others are in pursuit of companionship or a life partner. Yet a common thread among them is their engagement with bar girls. It is estimated that over 80% of foreign men visiting Thailand, particularly those in unfulfilling relationships, engage in intimate encounters with Thai bar girls in other forms of Thai and other forms of Thai sex workers. Unsurprisingly, less than 10% are willing to disclose this aspect of their experience to their friends back home. Many foreigners prefer not to label them as prostitutes due to the unique dynamics in Thailand where one can pay for a girl initially receive her phone number and arrange subsequent dates without additional payment, except for covering dinner expenses and any incidental purchases she makes at the 7-Eleven while you procure condoms. Thai bar girls excel at ensuring clients do not feel remorse or shame for their actions. Instead, they cultivate a sense of genuine affection, a sentiment that often holds true. If you have yet to engage with Thai bar girls, your Thailand experience may be incomplete. Now here's a very common way to connect with them. Upon entering a bar, taking a seat, if you're unaccompanied by a woman, it won't be long before one of the girls approaches you spontaneously, or if you establish eye to eye contact with one, return her smile and she will approach you. Typically, the initial conversation revolves around introductions like Hi, what's your name? Where are you from? Are you on holiday in Thailand? I like you. Will you buy me a drink? When she mentions a drink, she's referring to a lady drink, which constitutes one of the three sources of income for bar girls in Thailand. These drinks are priced higher, typically around 180 baht, with the girl receiving a share ranging from 50 to 70 baht, regardless of whether she orders a soft drink or a more expensive option like tequila. The price is the same. Within minutes of interaction, the girl will likely request a lady drink, followed by a second one, before inquiring about your accommodation and the possibility of going to your place together. The second and most substantial component of a Thai bar girl's earnings stems from a fee for sexual services. Clients usually have two choices, short time involving one session lasting one to two hours cost costing between one and thousand and twenty five hundred baht or long time encompassing multiple sessions until the next morning. Long time is a bit pricier at two thousand to four thousand baht. Some girls, likely the less appealing ones or beginners, may negotiate based on an offer, simply by asking, how much will you give me? If an agreement is reached, she will typically stay overnight unless you don't want her to. Another cost to consider is the bar fine. This fine of between 500 and 1000 baht is paid to the bar to permit you to take the girl outside. Sometimes, but not always, the girl may be paid up to half of the bar fine. The next revenue stream for a bar girl is her salary, which is generally modest, around 6,000 baht per month. When the time comes for the girl to depart from your place, she will usually give you her phone number or other contact details if you ask. This facilitates future meetings for intimate encounters before or after her work shifts or on her days off. Initially, 
many foreigners view their new partner as a casual and affordable companion for intimate relations. But over time, unless one is totally detached, emotional attachments develop. In town, it's common to spot a Thai Farang couple strolling hand in hand, the man proudly displaying his partner like a trophy, a sight that often elicits disapproval from seasoned expats and locals. While the market for prostitution among Thai men surpasses that for foreigners, Thai men are careful to avoid being seen in public with a sex worker or accompanying one in shopping malls, as such associations could severely tarnish their social standing. Some foreigners take their relationship with bar girls to the extreme of marriage or relocating them to their home countries. But that's a story for another video. Many foreigners struggle to discern between a reputable Thai woman and one involved in less savoury activities. This challenge isn't exclusive to newcomers. It also affects long-term expats who remain confined to the bar scenes of Nana, Patia and Patong, failing to explore beyond these areas despite residing in Thailand for extended periods. Lots of guys find it more convenient and enjoyable to socialise with bar girls rather than investing effort in learning Thai and approaching women with conventional occupations. Another factor contributing to foreigners easily falling for bar girls or neglecting to learn Thai could be the decent proficiency of English of bar girls, often surpassing that of office workers. Additionally, bar girls may not be inclined to teach you Thai, as some prefer their foreign partners not to learn the language so they can maintain the ability to gossip about them openly. Learning Thai can help distinguish between good and bad character traits based on speech and behavior. An observable indicator, even for novice Thai language learners, is the frequency of using the polite particle ka. Bar girls tend to use it sparingly, while well-mannered women incorporate it frequently especially when conversing with strangers or making new acquaintances. It is crucial to understand that Thai girls typically choose to work in these bars due to their impoverished backgrounds and limited education. Many come from Isan, the northeastern region of Thailand. They work not only to sustain themselves, but also to support their entire families. Does this categorize them as bad individuals? Personally? I would say no. The key is to maintain caution and awareness and not readily accept their expressions of affection as it is part of their job to create such feelings to secure financial gain. While exceptions exist and it is possible to establish a successful long-term relationship with a bar girl, it is essential to acknowledge that unless you agree to her continuing to ply her trade, you will be providing her ongoing financial needs as she may lack the qualifications to pursue conventional methods. Some men opt to invest in a Thai restaurant or massage establishment for her, in which case you would assume ownership and she would effectively become your employee. Alternatively, you may chance upon a girl who has only recently entered the bar industry. There is a range of viewpoints on this contentious matter. While there is much more to delve into and discuss, what I have told you should be sufficient for now. However, I need to highlight one critical aspect. Thailand is one of the countries with the highest rates of HIV infection, primarily impacting individuals in the, yep, you guessed it, the entertainment industry. So be smart. Always wear a raincoat when engaging in sexual activities with bar girls. Remember, safety first. As it happens, every 7-Eleven in Thailand stocks a variety of condoms at the checkout, available for as little as 35 baht for a pack of three. In terms of safety, regarding potential theft by bar girls, the risk is generally lower when interacting with girls from reputable beer bars or go-go bars where they are employees and you know where to find them. However, the scenario is very, very different with freelancers. 
Instances of freelancers pilfering money from foreigners are common and occur through various methods which are a topic for another video. Okay, Cobbers, I've said my bit. Now let's hear yours. I'm interested in your thoughts on today's topic, so pop those in the comments. Thanks for tolerating me. Until the next video, share this one, take care, and bye for now. If you are in Chiang Rai and finding it difficult to open a bank account or get your visa sorted, Jen can help. For a small fee, Jen will help you open your bank account and gather and complete all the documents that you will need to submit your visa application. When that is done, you have two choices. You can go to the immigration office and file the application yourself, or, or you can pay someone to represent you at the immigration office, in which case Jen will introduce you to a trusted associate who will take you to the immigration office and speak on your behalf. Jen also teaches basic conversational Thai in one-on-one -on -one lessons. Jen's contact details are in the video description.